10 to 12,000 in sales and very consistent. 30 and 35% margins after everything's done. All right, what's going on everyone? Bashar Kitsi here with BJK University. Today I have Stacy and Phil Rogeri from Florida here, which we're actually now both in the same state, which is awesome. That's um, right. So than before. Yeah, absolutely. So very good having you guys. Uh, thank you very much for doing this. Um, you know, uh, you guys uh, uh, enrolled in our university about a little over a year ago or so, and uh, just wanted to do this interview to really give everyone your, you know, your opinion about the journey, not really BJK University, but more of the journey of selling on Amazon, getting some insight uh, from somebody who's actually done it, gone through the process. And then, so please, you know, I just want to make sure that everyone knows you guys are not paid actors. I didn't pay you guys to come here, you know, please give your full opinion about everything. So don't hold anything back. So welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you having us here. Absolutely. Definitely. So uh, I guess what I want to start with is when did you look into FBA, the whole concept of selling on Amazon? So we started a number of years ago looking at FBA and selling on Amazon. We started off selling books on Amazon basically out of our basement and we were fulfilling by merchant, packaging, shipping, uh, every single one of them through the post office and it really became a pain in the butt. Uh, so we started shipping to Amazon doing FBA. Um, we found it was a lot of fun, we enjoyed it. We made a little bit of money off of it but we never really saw how it could grow to a larger business. And I think that was kind of our limiting point there. Um, and then Amazon had made some changes and some of the smaller sellers fees increased and it was a little difficult in the book territory. So we kind of got out of it. Um, fast forward about what, a year and a half, two years after that or so, um, she was looking into making some extra money and kind of said, look, we should probably look into doing some private label products and stuff like that. But she didn't really want to do it without a coach. And so I said, well, you know, let's see what you got. Um, came across your website and that's kind of where it all got started. That was about a year and a half ago, September-ish, a year, a year ago, September. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, but why Amazon, you know, outside of everything else out there? I mean, there's like affiliate marketing, there's drop shipping, there's crypto, there's, I mean, a million other things. Why Amazon particularly that you guys got interested in? Do you want to answer? Let me too. I, I think with Amazon, it's really neat to be able to take a product that you see and do the research, find out the demand and you know how much competition and then go to the supplier and really make it your own product. I think right. that's what really kind of hooked us on it is like, we can put our name on this and we can make sure mm -hmm. that we're doing it better than the next person because it's very competitive and we like that. And we thought yeah. that the market was still open too. I mean, you take a look at what it is, what Amazon is and how big it is and it's never gonna get smaller. There's always gonna be something new coming out and if you can stay on those trends, you can really capitalize on it and have something that can last a long time. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's awesome. Absolutely. Now you said that you guys were doing books and were you guys like fulfilling from your own place? Yeah, we were fulfilling from the basement of our house. We had uh, thousands of books in the basement of our house. I think we at one point had five gay lords in our garage, which is the equivalent of about 6,000 books in the garage in boxes that we were going through barcode scanning, going through it. I mean, grinding it out daily. And it, that just, yeah, that's but then, difficult. But then when we started sending them in was uh -huh. when it started to get really fun yep. because right. we're like, oh, somebody else can do all do this that. for us. Right. So that's when I kind of got hooked on Amazon. And then we kind of let awesome. it go for a little bit. Life got in the way. And then we're like, no, wait, that was like kind of easy. Right. So, okay, cool. Awesome. So how did you come across BJK University then? Okay, so I'm the researcher. I <laughs> I literally sought out like every coach there is. I right. would watch their YouTube videos. I would see their demeanor. I would see, you know, exactly what they offered. And I mean, literally I had probably private messaged a ton of, a ton of them. And then I connected with you and then we had a conversation. I was like, dude, I think I found our guy. Like we just connected right. and just, you know, what you had to offer, like the one-on-one, -on -one, I couldn't get that with any other people. And I'm right. the kind of person who likes one-on-one, -on -one. like other people could do a course and never, ever deal with them. But what you had to offer was what we wanted. And I'm pretty sure the stash also did it a little bit, right? I mean, you can't say the stash didn't do it. Right. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> the stash. Oh, yeah, the stash. <laughs> I mean, that was the whole thing. The whole Actually, thing, I was right? like, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, cool. So you guys started about a year and a half ago. So for our viewers, today is the 12th of February, 2021. So about a year and a half ago, I just you guys started. That's awesome. Um, tell us about your journey so far. Uh, so we're going to get into how many products, why all that stuff so as of today how many products do you guys have uh quite literally there's three three okay so three products um did all of them succeed or no no we lost one of them i think we lost another one along the way too at some point didn't we do something okay. else no i thought there was a fourth no just the one yeah we have one that just didn't work flat out i think the it was a no the first one it's still on, it's still kind doing just fine. But yeah, the first one kind of flopped and then it, it's slowly just like doing one of it's these gaining, things. It's gaining <laughs> right. momentum, which is funny. It's our, little, you know, it's our little baby. So we're just watching it grow. The right. second okay. one, I think we became attached to it, emotionally attached to it. Um, maybe the numbers weren't spot on. I think that's maybe what happened. The shark. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> the one that didn't work out well, the second one. <laughs> So, we became emotionally kind of attached to it. it, and that was our fault. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about that. What do you mean by emotionally attached? Why? How, how? Uh, we created our own design for what it was. It was, I mean, I don't I don't care to talk about, or is it okay we talk about it, what it if is? You're, if, if you're okay with it, I mean, it's flopped, so whatever, right? Didn't work for us, so it doesn't matter. It was a shower curtain, and we, we found the numbers for, like, a floral <laughs> print shower curtain was going to be great, and so we created our own, like, boho design and did all this work on it, paid everybody on Fiverr, which is the best way to go. And when it came to print, the color palette was exactly what we told them to print, but it just wasn't right. And because of that, it flopped. I mean, it yeah, just, I don't know. it is what so it did is. You, did you guys like, were you guys not able to say, okay, you know what? Let me cut my losses and move on or what? That one never made a profit. Good? That one, I could not okay. cut the losses and move. Once we saw that it wasn't going to sell, we still have a few in Amazon that we probably just need to have shipped back to us and sell locally at like a thrift store or something like that. But it's not, we can't even move one or two of them right now and it's bad. So, but there's one hanging in my shower. There is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. That's awesome. All right, cool. So, the first one, um, and you said that was the first or the second. So, the first one was the one that's kind of doing okay. Yeah. The second one flopped. And then the third one is the one that did the best, right? That's the yep. one that, okay. Talk a little bit about that without giving the, the product name. Yeah, so absolutely. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. So I guess uh, I was gonna ask, what's the difference? So how, how and why did that one work and then the other two did not work? I wanna focus on that. Sure thing. So we took a look and we found this product. I think, I don't remember if we did a fiber or if mm -hmm. we, I think we did fiber on this one. We did find it through a fiber person. Um, and we were looking at it and saying, okay, this, this looks like a great product. There aren't a lot of sellers and numbers added up and stuff like that. Okay. And there was some variation in it. There was already variation in the marketplace. We were like, okay, this is great. There's some, but what are they missing? And we started reading reviews, reading reviews. And we said, holy crap, they're missing this one point that everybody was struggling with. And we went to our mm -hmm. supplier and we said, can you do this? And they said, yeah, but I think he said no at first. Yeah, he did say no. And he's like, he's like, like, oh, like, oh your shipping you costs are only going to go up <laughs> because instead of this product being like flat, it was going to be like this. And so it, the shipping costs mm. were going to increase. And they were like, it's going to cost a lot. I said, well, how much? Because that's really the numbers game right there. If it's going to go up, can we still make a profit on it by charging more? And we did. And it worked out and it's still working out. So that product launched December a year ago. Mm. And December and January did really, really well. We failed in February because we didn't know about the new year that they were having overseas. And, and we, then the virus. Oh, the virus there, hit too. So we, so we had all that. Cold. So I think in March of last year, if I remember correctly, I can look it up real quick. We sold like less than $1,000. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. But then every other month other than that's been ten to 12000 in sales and very consistent. So it's been that's, really good for us. That's one product, ten to 12000 a month. Yep. One. So but one product, ten, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So, so one product, ten to twelve thousand dollars a month. Now, what kind of margins uh, do you guys expect on, let's say, on a ten thousand dollar sale? So we're probably averaging between thirty and thirty-five percent margins after everything's done. 
Okay, so so if you sell ten thousand, you expect at least three to the thirty five hundred dollars, which is yep. very good because we we preach twenty five percent. So if you're able to get to, to thirty thirty five percent, that's amazing, right? Yep. So that's that's a great margin. Okay, awesome. Um, by the way, what does the product sell for? The selling uh, price sells way right now. I think it's like twenty seven ninety nine. Okay, twenty seven. Okay, that's awesome. That's great. Cool. Um, so what you're saying is that you did first, like well, you did kind of more deeper research into it. You mentioned a lot about how you guys really hammered the negative reviews and you guys really went on that and, and just like, kind of like studied the customer reviews, what they're complaining, what they're talking about. And that gave you guys the inspiration to come up with your differentiation who now, I mean, it's almost been almost over a year that's been selling still consistently, you know, 10, 12,000. The reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of people ask, how do I differentiate? But then the other thing I get asked a lot is, hey, Bashar, how often do I need to recycle my product? Like if I launch a product today, how long is it going to be good for, right? Where do you see this product? I mean, do you see that it's going to die out soon, six months, a year? Do you feel like it's going to last at least a couple of years? What, what do you think about this product? Yeah, I would, I would say that this product could probably last another year or two, three years, maybe even. Um, one of the cool things, and I mean, this is definitely not taught in your course, and I don't know if it's even something that's even relevant. So excuse me if I'm kind of out in right field a little bit. But even when I go back and do product research on that product, there are still only 345 or 360 sellers of it, or like total people selling it. I don't see it changing. If I'm selling good with it, and that hasn't grown to, you know, a thousand you know, uh, listings on Amazon or whatever, then I'm feeling good about it. I'm saying that's okay. It's still an emerging market. So I look at it and say, it's cool. Not that you can't be an emerged market, a completely developed market and still not do well. It's just how you look at it and how you package it. And when we look at the diversification of the product, you know, hammering down on those reviews is a big deal. What are people struggling with and how easy is it to fix it? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking at this other product that we're looking at right now. And to like, I don't, the simplest little thing needs to be fixed about it. They need to include a roll of double stick tape. That's what's missing from this product. Like, come on, people. Why can't you just include a roll of double stick tape? You know, just right. think about the simplest thing. It, 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 no cost to you to change it, but it can make all the world, all the difference to somebody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, you said that you did product research. You hired someone on Fiverr. That's how you found your, your product that you're selling right now. Yep. That's correct. So that actually, that actually works to hire someone oh. on Fiverr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Works all the time. We look, we, we use Fiverr all the time. We probably have five, six, seven products that we never even grew that we could have used um, from people on Fiverr that definitely would make money. We were just kind of stupid and lazy. <laughs> okay. So, so you've got one product that's doing great. You've got another one that's doing okay. One flop. Um, what do you think is stopping you from, let's say, getting to 50K a month or 100K a month? Nothing. Ourselves. Ourselves. We know that. And we and we we know what we've got to do. And we're we're we've already put our foot forward. Yeah. So what, we'll be launching another product. Well, it's just like we, we get life gets in the way, right? I mean, she has her own business. I have my own business and this. We're doing this and well, we have other like stuff six going on. Businesses. It's, so, you know. it's like, you know, if you if, if we wanted to nourish what we're doing with Amazon, it would easily excuse me, supersede everything else we're doing. Um, and we know that. So, I mean, you can just call it stupidity if you want. It's okay. It's our own, so, it's our own fault. I want to focus on that. So you guys both have your, this is not your full-time job. Amazon is not your full-time thing. Yeah, no, not at all. You, I know, uh, um, Stacey, I know you're into like nutrition and stuff like that. Is that what you do full-time or? No, I do. I mean, I just do so many things, literally chop my day up into five pieces and there's something, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. So you've got your own thing and then Phil, you've got your own thing. And then you guys also have kids, right? Yep. yep. We have a 12 year old son. So you guys, so you guys have a son, you all, you both have your own things going on and you're able to make an Amazon business work. And you feel like you can definitely scale it up if you did just focus a little bit more. Absolutely. Easily. All the work's up at front, you know, right. That's where all the work is. And then you set it and forget it really. Mm -hmm. It's so, yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. Okay. Um, what do you feel like was your biggest struggle when you started? Um, getting over the fear of spending a ton of money up front and that you're not going to get it back. 
or that your okay. product's not gonna uh, yeah, your do product's well. not gonna do You're well. Afraid to just yeah. you know and keep that, going. And then I think the other fear is I think I think the biggest mistake that I watch a lot of people make is they get so emotionally attached to their product, kind of like what we did with the shower curtain, you know? Even if it's not hitting. Even if it's not doing numbers, it, yeah. You can't do that. You That's can't be emotionally attached. Numbers. Somebody could say, hey, look, this is what you're going to sell. And you could look at that and be like, I don't want to sell that. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to make a lot of money on it. I don't want to sell it. Well, you're stupid. Just sell it. You know, right. that's what I look at it. Okay, okay. Uh, but then how did you get across that? Because obviously you invested in the first product and the second product and then in the third. I mean, you could have easily given up before you get to your one product that actually made it. So how did you actually make it to the third product to invest in it? We had a little bit of, you know, we had, we saw the success and then we just kept going for it. You know, once we, okay. once we, with the first product, we were like, okay, all right. Even if one does flop, we know that the money's there and we just have right. to keep, keep going, keep pushing. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you believe in, in the saturation thing? Like people say, Amazon is too saturated. I don't know if I can make money right now. Like I started five years ago. You guys started a year and a half ago. If you like someone starting today, is there still room to make money on Amazon? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I mean, yeah. we're, we're finding products daily if we want to, that we could use to make money off of. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Um, what, if you, if you had to give one suggestion or one advice to people out there, what, what, what would, what would it be? You want to go ahead and say anything? I can. Give me two. I mean, yeah. What? I, I, the one thing I, I related to you more than anything is just look, you know, he, he, you give everybody the guidelines, you give everybody the program it's written out. You know, the, the most common posts that I see up there are, you know, uh, what, how did you do it? How did you do it? You know, they're asking people that are successful how they did it. And I always reply with, I just follow the guidelines. Mm -hmm. I don't see how complicated this is. Yeah. You know, people might be like, oh, I can bend it this way or I can bend it that way. No, if it doesn't fit, don't do it. You know, just, it's as simple as that. Right. You're just duplicating. I mean, yep. it's a process. You follow right. the process right. and it works, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So now I want to talk a little bit about BJK University and what you guys think. Uh, What's the biggest thing that you feel like actually really helped you with what we offer in our program? I mean, it all did. Having somebody to help once we found that product to just kind of give us that confidence. Um, the Facebook page, so valuable. Yeah. It was so valuable. Just, I mean, we still go on it today if we have a question and we can find, we can find what we're looking for or get the support if we don't have, you know, um yeah i mean the big one is like just having that somebody else vet the product for you mm -hmm. sending it over to you and just saying hey does this look good because i see it but is there anything i'm missing and you'd be like yeah you're good or eh, watch out for this can you get around that and if you can then great it's a it's a win um so i i feel comfort in that a lot um and then you know like she said the facebook page is a really great help mm -hmm. too um especially when it comes to launching products okay do you updates. feel like for and updates in the program. We're always updating the program yep. right. and showing like, oh, Amazon just changed this. Okay, great. We're mm -hmm. like up to speed. Like you're on it. Right. Okay. Would you think that you guys would have um, gotten the kind of results you did today if you didn't have a mentor or didn't have, you know, guidance or didn't have the system? No, no way. Okay. Okay, good. Because I, I, and this is something that I get a lot. It's like, oh, I can probably do this. I can probably do this. I don't need this. You know, I don't need that. Right. And I usually say you can, pro you probably can, but it might take you a couple of years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To get it where, you know, it's, it's about accelerating the, the learning curve, you know, and shortening that, that learning curve so you can get the profitability. So would you say um, you're happy customers and would you say they would recommend the program to someone else wanting to do this? Yeah, I mean, yes, we have, yes. we've sent, what, three, four, five, five. people to you? <laughs> like we send people to you all the time. Because <laughs> we Absolutely. know it works, so. Cool. Awesome. Um, any, any, anything else you guys would like to add uh, to anyone out there wanting to start selling on Amazon or anything at all? Yeah, grab life by the horns. Go get it, man. It's, it's really not that hard. Once you figure it out, it's really not that hard. Right. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you all being here.
you know, I know it's been it's been pleasure really working with you guys the past year and a half, and I know we're going to be working together for probably at least a decade, if not longer, as yep. long as Jeff Bezos doesn't turn off the switch and says screw all of you, right? Yeah. Uh, but until then, uh, if anyone else is watching, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out and uh, be sure to say hello to Stacy and Phil when you do enroll. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Bye.